I don't know if you can see that friends but that field is loaded with deer I can't even tell you how many are out there there's just tons of them and I don't know if I can zoom in maybe not I don't know how to do that I got my phone but it's just full of deer I mean the whole field full of them look at them Tootsie mm -hmm. could you even begin to count no, they're all they're eating all the corn that's left over from last season. My 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 my. That would be a hunter's dream if it was fall. <laughs> okay, friends. Check that out, friends. Hello, by the way. I'm out here getting in my yard today. See that right? Right over in there. All the way over to I can't see very well all the way over to about there that was all wild blackberries now i'm not going to cut them all down but i'm going to leave an, a small little patch but they were just way out of control and all tangled and an absolute disaster so there's my big pile that i you can see it that i've already cut up and I'm just going to burn it and then I think I'll just throw the ashes, some of the ashes in my compost because I've always had good luck. I'd always put a little bit of ashes in my compost. I think it's good for it. Some people might beg to differ but I've always had good luck with it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm just taking a break. And I don't know if you can see my compost bin. Hold on. That right there sitting next to my wheelbarrow is my nice little compost bin. We got it like that because I did have just a pile there and I always put my kitchen scraps in there. No meat or grease or anything like that. Uh, now and then I might put a little bit of meat because the wild kitties come and eat, you know, and I'll throw it beside of it for them. But my neighbor that lives in the stone house right there, bless her heart, I just love her to pieces. But she's got a little poodle. And before we had the box there, the little poodle decided he was going to roll in my sloppy uh, kitchen pile of kitchen scraps I had there. I think I had spaghetti squash left over. <laughs> oh, I had all kinds of stuff in there. No meat or nothing, but he was eating out of it and he was rolling in it and they got them all cleaned up and then they had to take them to town for something I don't know but he vomited all over their car all over the inside of the car all over her and she probably wanted to kill me because of my compost bin so I said all right we'll build a box so we my husband put that box together well before we could even go get the wire they had bought a roll of chicken wire because you know they they know that this is on my property and around here you're not supposed to let your dogs run loose and of course her little guy he has you know he has run of the place and i don't complain so i think that's why they did that but i felt so bad that poor little dog was so sick he had an upset tummy he wasn't used to that but i think he was in his glory rolling in it but anyway enough of that i'll show you over here I can turn you without getting you dizzy. See that raised bed there? That's what I did my straw bale garden in last year. I think this year, see the straw is still in it. I'm going to spread that straw all around because it's probably composted up pretty good under there. And uh, the cardboard is still down under there and I'm going to leave that all there. I'm going to fill that in and I believe I'm going to plant, plant potatoes in there. I think that would be a, a, a good idea. And it'd probably grow wonderfully in there. So, and then over in, let's see, over in that area, right where my finger is, right in that area, right on the edge of our, the hole that's in our yard. That's from the, that hole all through there was from where they tore down the house there. We're going to put the greenhouse right along that edge, and then we're going to put our raised beds and our trellises all along in that area. So it'll look really nice, and it'll be uh, it'll be nice. 
And then our chicken coop. Let me turn this around. I can't barely see. Can you see me? Hello! Our chicken coop is going to go right where that big pile of snow is. So that way I'll be able to get to it real easy in the winter time and feed them and take care of them. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm out here having a ball, working off the winter weight. I don't know if you can see my, my pile of leaves that I've been burning has been going for three days now. Three days? This is the third day. I just come out and throw on a new bunch of leaves and it, it starts up again in about a half hour. So anyway, let me turn this back around here because that is what I'm working on. And you'll see kind of like before and after pictures. Hello friends. Take a look at what I've been doing. I've got it raked. Oh, you can see all the way over there. We own clear to the sidewalk to the road on that side. So we got a nice little chunk of property. But I wanted to show you. I didn't dig them out, but I did cut them way down. And, uh, you know, they'll come back. And this way, when they do come back, I can keep them, you know, um, organized. <laughs> they're, they were wild. I don't, we'd never done nothing in the 12 years we've been here with them. They just kind of hung out over here in the corner and got bigger and bigger but they really they don't produce um big berries i think they're the little um uh black black raspberries is what they are so but they're nice they're nice to have and i've been working on my compost i've got kitchen scraps in there i've got leaves in there and i got some extra twigs and dirt that i've raked up and that's looking good over there. And our piles of snow, where the everything's been um, shoveled or plowed, is uh, starting to melt. So, see, we still got, where you see all the snow there is where um, they've been plowing our big horseshoe drive. So, with that, I'm going to go, and I've got to go over here and finish raking. Hey friends, I got another day of burning leaves, but take a look here. Everything's looking good. I'm going to take you over here and show you. I've raked all this all the way back to the big old hole. We still got a little bit of snow, but not, not quite as much. I cleaned all that, and I cleaned out my little front flower bed here with my rooster playing the violin. Got my little goodies in there. We moved the rocks, the grandbabies and I, and they put all the rocks back nice and pretty. So we got that done. We brought our grill out because we grilled out yesterday. We made um, brats, we cooked brats on the grill. And the compost bin, I told you when I did all my my canning on my um, citrus, my oranges and grapefruits that I was gonna put all that into my compost. So I'm gonna spread it around and mix it all up in there. Those are all gone, the blackberry bushes. Well, they'll come back, I didn't dig them out. I just simply cut them down. And this is all raked in here. And on this over here, I'm working on spreading all this out in there because then I'm just going to fill it in with dirt and I'm going to grow potatoes in there and that hail it's almost mulched down now it's just the top layer so I got all this cleaned out and we're still finding stuff in this yard we got lots of snow over here but this is all the farther I raked now you see my front yard way over there where the fire is this is all the farther I raked. And yesterday, we started our big pile on fire because we got permission to burn. And that's still smoldering in there. But we had that thing was piled up like level with that house over there. It was a huge pile of sticks and brush and all the yard debris. So everything's coming along good, friends. 
and I've been out a little bit every day raking and having a ball. And then this weekend, tomorrow, we're uh, having our pizza party too, so you'll get a little bit of that. But we're going to put the chicken coop right about, let's see, right about in this area right here. I want it back. My husband says, oh, I want it up by the snowbank there. I said, no, I want them back here where they got some shade and some protection. And then they got the fence right there, too. So they'll be good back here, I think. So anyway, it's all looking good. And if anybody has any idea, I'm going to show you how I can get rid of daylilies without having to dig them all up. I hate to kill them, but they just, they go, they grow wild. They grow everywhere, and they'll take over everything. Right here, this whole bed is all daylilies, and you can see the little green daylilies. I want to clean that all out because I really, really, really would prefer to put a herb garden in there and grow all my herbs right in there. So, and probably... Next week, I'll clean out the pond and get everything fixed up in there. And then slowly work my way around to the front because I got two flower beds in the front that need to be cleaned out. But that's enough of that. I'm just over here burning my leaves and enjoying. My grandbabies are across the street at their daddy's playing. <coughs> Excuse me. So everything looks good. And it's, it's, it's doing good. Ooh, that smoke will kill you. So there you have it, friends. A little bit of my time, and I'm going to end this video with this. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow with the chicken coop video. Thanks for watching, friends.